land. I wonder what lives here. I can see frogs, birds, and bugs. I wonder what's living down inside the pond. Let's take a look under the water and find out. Wow, I've never seen the bottom of a pond before. There's so many amazing plants and animals. Let's make our own pond. Great idea! Let's start our pond by adding rocks. Tap on the book if you want to hear about the things you can add to the pond. Great! Now there's lots of places for the animals to live and hide. Let's keep going! Underwater plants. Floating plants. Ooh! Now we get to pick a plant to add. You can always use my book to hear more information. Underwater plants will help feed lots of pond animals. I wonder who will eat them. Let's look around. Wow, this is so interesting. Let's keep going. Now we get to add animals to the pond. Ponds need lots of different plants and animals to stay healthy. Let's pick one and see what happens. Worm, snail. These wiggly worms are so tiny. I wonder what other small animals live in the pond. I notice that each time we chew something, the pond changes. Look, we're going up. I wonder what we'll discover. Different creatures live here, in the middle of the pond. I wonder what they are and what they eat. Tadpole. Dragonfly larva. Wow! I wonder how many tadpoles are here. Count how many you see. We could take a closer look at the plants and animals in the pond with this magnifying glass. Move the magnifying glass over a plant or animal and click it to see it up close. I notice that the little worms wiggle when they swim. I think this is because they don't have fins like fish do. Dragonfly larva. Scavenger beetle larva. These larvae become bright, colorful dragonflies when they grow up. They look so different as babies. Scavenger beetle larva. Caddisfly larva. These larvae become beetles when they grow up. Imagine how different they will look. I notice the dragonfly larva has a big bottom lip. That helps it scoop up food. What do you notice? It looks like tadpole bodies are just a head and tail. I wonder how the body parts will change as it grows into a frog. I notice that the little worms wiggle when they swim. I think this is because they don't have fins like fish do. I notice that the little worms wiggle when they swim. I think this is because they don't have fins like fish do. This frog is the grown-up of the tap will be added. I 
notice that this frog has green skin, covered in spots. Do you think that helps it hide? The dragonfly larva has six long legs that each have two claws. Now we're near the pond's surface. I wonder how the animals will be different here. Northern pike, red spotted newt. Whoa, look at the size of them. Red spotted newt, pumpkin seed sunfish. Newts have interesting features that make them look a little like a frog and a little like a lizard. Pumpkin seed sunfish, spotted bass. These little fish have lots of fun colors. What do you notice about the colors of the animals in the pond? I notice the pumpkin seed fish has a bright and colorful pattern. I wonder if that helps them find each other. I notice the beetle's body is dark brown. What do you notice? I notice the newt's skin is bumpy. Plants help animals live and grow. This plant's leaves are good for pond animals to eat. I notice that the little worms wiggle when they swim. I think this is because they don't have fins like fish do. This dragonfly is the grown-up of the larva we added. We've reached the top. I wonder what new things we'll discover. Heron, king fisher. The great blue heron mostly eats small fish. Mallard duck, painted turtle. Mallard ducks like the pond for bathing and finding food. King fisher, <coughs> painted turtle. The painted turtle's shell protects it. Can you describe the pattern on its shell? I notice that this turtle has yellow stripes on its skin. What do you notice? This frog has long back legs that help it hop around on land and swim in the water. I notice the dragonfly has two really big eyes. I wonder if a dragonfly sees really well. I notice the mallard duck has a bright blue patch on its wing. What colors do you notice? The great blue heron has a long neck that sometimes looks like an S. We finished our pond. That was so cool. Let's keep exploring. You can keep exploring or you can make another pond. Do you want to start a new pond? Click this button to look at the creatures you've discovered. My animal. Ooh, we can make a whole new pond. See what happens if you try adding new plants and animals to your pond. Rocks. Underwater plants. Floating plants. Floating plants make good places to hide. Worm, snail. Snails have shells to protect them. I wonder what other creatures have shells. Scavenger beetle larva, 
caddisfly larva. I wonder what the caddisfly will look like when the larva grows up. Scavenger beetle larva. Tadpole. These larvae become beetles when they grow up. Imagine how different they will look. Tadpole. Dragonfly larva. Wow! I wonder how many tadpoles are here. Count how many you see. The scavenger beetle is the grown-up of the larva we added. Pumpkin seed sunfish. Red spotted newt. These little fish have lots of fun colors. What do you notice about the colors of the animals in the pond? Red spotted newt. Spotted bass. Look carefully to spot the differences between the pond creatures. What do you notice about the animal sizes? Red spotted newt. Yellow bullhead catfish. This fish is called a catfish because it has feelers on its face that look like cat whiskers. This cat is flies the grown-up of the larva we added. Teal duck. Map turtle. Ducks have special webbed feet that help them paddle through the water. I wonder what other animals have webbed feet. Heron. King fisher. Kingfishers have pointy beaks that help them go fast when they dive into the water. Map turtle. Heron. Map turtle's strong beaks are perfect for eating their favorite food, snails. 